Hello folks and welcome to the Vertigo Tea Party update for the month of May 2016. So as usual at the very beginning here I'll cover the essentials and then later on I'll kind of circle back around and talk about things going on in depth so that those who want to just catch the important highlights can just listen to the first five minutes. Everybody else can just uh, you know listen to all of it. So in May, the new stuff that is coming up, the Ninja Turtles, Mutants in Manhattan. I do plan on playing that on release. Uh, Overwatch is coming out this month as well, the same day, I think. Um, I plan on doing like a class series for that. In other words, what I want to do is like do one hour for each class, kind of either learning the class or just messing around with them for about an hour each and then maybe I'll do some separate streams and stuff for Overwatch. It just depends how many people enjoy watching it. We'll see how that goes. Fallout 4 Far Harbor. The first big DLC is supposed to be out this month or is going to be out this month. So I plan on playing that as well. Uh, the survival mode is now live as well. It's going to be interesting trying to do that new DLC when uh, <laughs> without even trying it yet. So uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Also, I'm going to start doing virtual reality stuff. I actually have a Vive now, HTC Vive. And I'm going to start doing some VR stuff, uh, probably starting off with Let's Tries for various VR games. I haven't decided the format yet. It's going to be a little tricky. We'll see how that goes as well. Uh, in the maybe pile, there's Hitman. I know the Hitman Episode 2 has come out. And not a lot of people really seem to like my Hitman videos. So that makes me slightly less encouraged to do them because if nobody's watching them, it's kind of pointless. Well, I don't want to say pointless. I still enjoy the game, but it's a little less encouraging to play them just because partially because there's so much going on. So I don't know if I'm going to do Hitman episode two uh, right away this month. I want to do it definitely at some point, but this month is pretty crazy. So might wait on that. We'll see. Doom is another maybe it's coming out this week. Uh, unfortunately, no pre-release or like video or uh, the game is not going out to reviewers early for some reason, which makes me very skeptical of it. Uh, I'm only interested in the single player. I would like to play the single player. I hope that I hear that it's good. If I hear this Doom single player is good, I do want to do a let's play of it uh, probably this month if it's good. Probably play it on the hardest difficulty or near hardest. Uh, look out for that. Get it. If it's getting bad reviews though, I'll probably skip it. Also, the Witcher 3 DLC is going to be out May 31st. As you probably know, I have not done the second DLC. I forget, or the main, you know what I mean, the last DLC. I forget what it's called. I haven't done that yet. I don't want to do Blood and Wine until I've done that. So if I start a DLC for Witcher this month, it'll be the one before Blood and Wine. Probably won't start Blood and Wine until at the earliest next month. Blade and Soul uh, Force Master is ending. Blade and Soul Kung Fu Master will continue until I finish the Act 4 stuff. Uh, the, basically all the, the campaign quests that are in the game currently. Black Desert is question marks. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to play it. It's really... I've talked about this at length before. In a long story short, it's just hard to make that one interesting based on what I like to do in that game. So I don't know how much more Black Desert to expect. Maybe more streams. Again, this month's crazy. I wouldn't... Hold my breath for more Black Desert this month. Uh, things that will continue, as always, will be Don't Starve Together. Uh, roughly two to three of those a week, depending on the schedule of the other players. Uh, Dark Souls should also continue to be daily, <laughs> if I can keep scheduling things properly. There is no plans to do Uncharted 4. I haven't played the other Uncharted's. They look like the type of game that I would really enjoy. Just there's no time for it. Uh, and I'd rather just play all the Uncharted instead of starting on the fourth one. So no plans to do Uncharted for uh, any time soon. So that's all the essential stuff you guys need to know. And I'm going to go in more in depth. So if you don't want to stick around for that, that's totally cool. I'll see you around. I totally forgot to have a question for this episode, but oh well. Anyway, so a little bit more in depth behind the scenes. The virtual reality stuff. I'm really, really wanting to get ahead of this. I, think, I feel like this could be very useful because even just as a Vive owner, one of the first things I did was like, okay, so now what? Like, what do I download? Because it's not just like, oh, you'll go get games for it. There's all kinds of experimental stuff and experiences as opposed to just games. There's a lot of other places to get this stuff other than Steam. So I was like immediately like, oh man, like where do I go for all this stuff? So I actually would like to cover that 
uh, and help people with that who have a vibe or have whatever find stuff for the virtual reality that they can try out recording wise i don't plan on recording myself with like face cam or whatever uh, even with virtual reality i don't care about the horror stuff so much and i don't see a lot of value in recording me making the goofy motions while I'm trying to cover the game, because the purpose is to cover the virtual reality games and experiences to let people know what's out there and help them find things that would be of interest to them. So just having me on cam would be be kind of pointless in my opinion, but I definitely, definitely want to get VR stuff out very soon uh, as this starts to to kick off. And there's already a lot of different things I want to cover. So I'm already kind of have a backlist that I haven't even started yet, which is always good. Um, Fallout Far Harbor with a survival difficulty, that's going to be really tricky uh, to do and schedule with everything else going on. We'll see how it goes. I might bump the difficulty down if it's taking like too much time because I haven't really prepped myself for, I haven't even tried the beta version of survival. So if I go in with survival and trying to figure it all at once, and especially with stuff like not being able to save wherever you want. It could be frustrating both for you and for me, probably more for me. We'll see how it goes, but I'm keeping an open mind to start with, but just be aware we might drop the difficulty depending uh, just again, because there's just so much other things to play. I don't want to take two or three times as long just because we're having to like, because remember there's no fast travel either. So if you die far away, you have to run all the way back and that would get really old. So we'll see about that. The TMNT thing, the Ninja Turtles, I don't imagine that's going to be long. I imagine it's going to be about the length of the Transformer game. That didn't read that anywhere. That's just something that I, I'm i assuming, given Platinum's track record, I feel like it's going to be just a side game like Transformers. So it shouldn't take me too long. Maybe like a couple of videos. I think Transformers was like, what, 10 videos? If that, 10, 12, somewhere in there. TMNT should be fairly easy to knock out quick. I think Doom will be the same, even if I play it on a higher difficulty. I don't imagine a Doom campaign is all that long. Maybe 12-ish hours on an average difficulty, something like with uh, Wolfenstein. I'm hoping it's as good as Wolfenstein. The Wolfenstein New Order single player was awesome. I'm really hoping for a good, fast-paced, old-school, brutal FPS campaign. We'll we'll see how it how that goes. Hitman, again, I've heard the new stage is pretty cool. They're the new episode or whatever. I heard it's it's good. So I want to try it out. But like I say, with very few people watching it, it's like, and especially again, with so much stuff going on, I'm kind of like, eh, my motivation to do it is slightly less, even though I have enjoyed the Hitman, you know, game so far. Uh, the DLC stuff, I really want to get back into Witcher. But man, there's so many RPGs that I'm doing, like two MMOs, one of them finally just wrapping up. Dark Souls is going to go on for a long time. And it just feels like I'm doing tons and tons of RPGs over the last six months or so. So that's why I kind of want to maybe put it off. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of struggling with that one. But I, I want to play more Witcher. So I don't know. What I might end up doing is put it off till like next month and then do just like a ton of Witcher. Do the, the DLC I'm behind on and then go ahead and do Blood and Wine. I will not be doing all the question marks and stuff. I I remember mentioning during the main playthrough, I said, well, you know, I might, when the DLC comes out, I might go and do all these question marks. No, I'm not going to do that. That's just not going to happen. I'll tell you that right now. Not going to happen. Black Desert, I haven't even played it in a few weeks. And it's not that I've lost interest. It's just, again, so many other things going on that I've, I've not logged in. And I know if I log in, I'll be logged in for hours. So speaking of staying logged in for hours, Overwatch, I've really, sorry, I'm jumping all over the place. Overwatch, I'm really, really enjoying Overwatch so far. I've gotten pretty addicted to it when I was playing it during the beta. So any excuse to play that game is is A-OK in my book. In fact, that's the game you're watching right now in the background is Overwatch, if you didn't already figure that out. So uh, the I'm looking forward to doing the one hour per class. It's, pro- it's almost certainly not going to be one a day. It'll probably be split out over the next coming weeks uh, once it's released. Uh, it comes out on uh, May the 24th. So, um, yeah, expect that to be more more spread out. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoy that. Uh, the, let's see the VR stuff I talked about. Um, I guess that's pretty much it. I'm, I'm really, really 
trying to do less Let's Plays and work, focus more on other stuff. I really love doing Let's Plays, but I want to do more. Let's try. I want to consistently get two to three Let's Tries out every week. And now with the virtual reality stuff, I want those to be separate. I don't want that to count as part of the Let's Try. So that's more, more time I want to spend covering things like that because not only am I personally very interested in virtual reality stuff, uh, and I've really like if and for those of you curious, I'm really loving my vibe so far. Uh, it's quite quite a lot of fun. I'm really digging it. But I'm just personally interested in it. But you know, to be to be honest, I think it's something that could help the channel a lot because I feel like I could kind of get ahead of the curve, so to speak, and cover a lot of these games and experiences for people out there with a with a situation like myself, where I'm like, okay, you know, now what? What do I get? So I really want to hit that pretty hard and heavy. Um, Dark Souls, I, I keep wanting to do like monster set, like do like two or three days in a row of just really long sessions and get a lot recorded, but it just it just never quite works out. Blood and Blade and Soul, I definitely want to get knocked out. Just because like it's always in the back of my brain, like, ah, oh, it's still going, you still haven't finished it. I'm getting pretty close. Uh Blade and Soul, the Kung Fu uh, the as I mentioned, the Force Master is done. The Kung Fu Master still has a ways to go. Like apparently this this fourth act has like 30 chapters. It's insane. So what I'll probably end up doing is skipping side quests. Uh, I might do them for a little bit, but I'm probably just going to start doing the main story quests because if I don't, it's going to be another 20 hours of Kung, of Blade and Soul. And quite frankly, I'm getting tired of the game, partially because I decided to level two characters at the same time, which was not a great idea in hindsight, and it's kind of burned me out on it. So I'm going to try to get that just kind of bulk done soon. But... um. I guess that's it. I'm still looking at Game Wisp. I, I just again trying to trying to keep find time to go look at it and dig into it. There's a fairly high chance that I'll switch to Game Wisp from Patreon. Uh, in a nutshell, if you're not familiar, Game Wisp allows like your viewers to like subscribe to you financially, like just kind of like Patreon, where they pay X amount a month and get certain benefits, but. Wisp Game Wisp is specifically targeted towards games, and one of the huge features it has that I really like is being able to schedule private videos. Because if if a video is not sorry not private unlisted, if I make a video unlisted, you can't find it. Typically, you can't search for it. Uh, it won't or it won't show up in searches. It won't show up on the channel. But if you have the specific address, you can view it. But it gives you the option to do that, to make a video unlisted, and so that people who subscribe at a certain you know, value or a money level can have access to it. And then after X amount of time, it automatically puts that video up. Because I don't like putting my stuff behind a permanent paywall. It's not something I'm crazy about the idea of. But I'm okay with saying, okay, for, the, for like a couple days, you have access to this ahead of time. And then after three days or whatever, it kicks live. And there's no way to do that with YouTube. There's no way to do it with Patreon, but Game Wisp, there is a way to do that, which is pretty sweet. So anyway, I'm still still trying to look at that. Hopefully by end of next month, we'll see. Anyway, so I think that's it. Uh, thank you guys for uh, watching. As always, if you have any questions or comments, you know, just leave them in the comments or just shoot me a tweet or whatever. Anyway, thank you guys, and I'll uh, see you next time.